This week I made a very big move in the market. I bought into Party City, ticker symbol PRTY. This is my trade board. Alright guys, welcome to the video. This video is called the trade board, which is a recap of me making a trade and all my research behind it. This week's trade board was, was over Party City, ticker symbol PRTY. For those of you who don't know, I'm a social research investor and swing trader. I researched through a lot of social media sites, Google Trends, societal trends, and more. This past week, I went on a deep dive on the company Party City. Here's what I found, and here's my trade. So for those of you who are not aware with Party City's business model, um, Party City's a party store. They're selling balloons, decorations, drinkware, tableware, candy, all that good stuff. They have a helium service where they fill up your balloons with helium so to last longer than just you just blowing in the air and stuff. So uh, I have a lot of memories of them as a kid, actually. We used to go get costumes, everything. And I'll be the first to say this is a dying business model in today's society. Uh, today we're buying pretty much everything off Amazon. Um, yeah, Amazon is just taking over and Party City is dying. But there's a part of people that still want that in person, picking out the decorations uh, for their parties, for their uh, signs, stuff like that. So uh, I've been hearing a lot of stuff about recently. This pandemic has hit and Party City has very high debt, very low cash levels. So very unhealthy company at the moment. But um, there's some interesting things going on with it. So right now there's these drive-by birthday parties. People have signs out the window, balloons taped to their cars. Um, they're not going to order this pre-made sign anywhere else but Party City, at least in my neighborhood, because that's the only place we have by us. Amazon's not going to personalize a sign for you. Um, also, uh, the balloons taped to the cars, um, the cakes they're going to deliver, the uh, candy that they want to drop off to their friends. A lot of that is gotten from Party City. Um, so there's a lot of grad parties in my neighborhood, especially. Um, every single grad house, every single class of 2020 student, they all have two to three signs in their yard. People are just being nice because they feel bad for the seniors. And the sign is supposed to show appreciation for the seniors. And I'm seeing this. I was like, hmm, where could I possibly uh, be benefiting on the finance world, where could I possibly be looking? Um, and I looked at Party City and I saw a tweet about it. Uh, people were just talking about how there's a line out the door. It takes forever in the pickup. And yeah, I just saw this as an opportunity. I saw the social arbitrage part of it, the social opportunity. Uh, all these signs are being made and it benefits Party City directly and hasn't had a lot of this business in very long. So this is a great uh, chance for Party City to get back on track, impress uh, earnings by a little bit, and yeah, just make it back to looking like a company that's going to survive in the pandemic, because right now, it's just price for bankruptcy, straight price for bankruptcy, no doubt. So yeah, um, some background info and my thesis on this Party City trade. Alright, y'all going to do some technical analysis. So I'm going to show you the three-year chart of Party City. Um, so you can see three years ago it was about at $17, $17.10. Um, yeah, so consistent downtrending pattern for the last couple of years, all the way down to a low of $0.26 cents during our lows this year. Um, as you can see on the RSI, it never gets overbought, but it's oversold about five or six times. And just... Again, that steady downtrend pattern. Pretty substantial drops. Um, if we go to my trade this week. Uh, this is the five-day chart. Um, if we were to look, it starts at forty-eight cents and makes its way all the way consistently up to seventy-two as its high. Um, so I heard about this stock, right about there when it popped. It was very overbought, but I just heard the hype on it, the opportunity during this time, um, and on how it may be a strength swing trade. So I had started hearing about it right there. I knew it was overbought because I looked. Um, so I waited. I'm still watching the stock very closely. And then right there, I see it gets over 
oversold right there. So I decide to wait a little bit longer and I get it right there. I buy in right where it's oversold right down here. Um, I buy in right there. So I'm riding the wave up. One day has passed, about 12% gain. The next day, um, it pops, gets up to about 40% gain right there for my position. I, d I sold uh, nothing yet. Uh, so I wait a little bit longer. I took about half my profits right there just because I saw that it was another 40% gain and didn't want to test the limits going past 72 once again. So I sold about half my position and then I, I'm holding the rest right there for solid 25% gain. Consistent uptrend pattern. Now I do plan to uh, get my full position back. I just wanted to take a few profits in case this trade went sideways and I didn't reach my full potential already locked into profits. So that's the te technical side. Let's get into more of the social side. So a big part of Party City's business model is they lead the industry of party goods ahead of much bigger companies and also lead uh, the party specialty retail. So that's their niche and they can get customers because of that coming straight to them and only them. Uh, there's some things that Amazon cannot do that Party City does. So I don't think um, their price they should be as price low as they are right now and they should not be priced for bankruptcy at this time. There's still some opportunity even if it does go bankrupt in the future. Uh, it has upward high swing potential. So this is some more technical analysis of Party City. Um, you can tell by the 20 day chart. Um, about on 514 the rally started and it's gone up substantial about 40% since then. So it definitely has more room to grow. But at the same time, it's also done a lot of growth already, and a lot of people have made profits on this. So this is some info from the um, investor relations page. You can see the stuff that they're selling right now. And even though none of it's needed, I feel like people are throwing parties at the moment. Um, and as soon as the pandemic ends, there's going to be a crazy amount of parties thrown. Um, just because that people are, wanna, are gonna want to get out of the house as much as possible, be around big crowds of people, that's what they're missing right now. So this is a big opportunity, and uh, it's another reason that I like the concert star stocks in the future. So there's great opportunity in this one. Um, yeah, it kind of goes along with Live Nation, another stock that I love as a bounce back play. And just Party City's a great value. It has uh, 3x potential, and we'll see on this one. So here's a funny tweet. Um, talking about that Party City has a line. Um, I've actually been to Party City before I made this trade. I just wanted to check out um, if the business was like nobody was showing up. If a lot of people were showing up. And I was pretty surprised. There was, there was a line at some points. It was pretty full of a story. Obviously not as full as when they thought a pandemic going on. But um, yeah, people are going to this store a lot more than expected. It's not a necessity that people are looking for things to do, projects to do. Um, they're, they could be getting costumes, making a costume with Party City supplies, uh, having little family cookouts, parties with uh, Party City's business. So so this is some more info from the investors page on the Party City web website. And you can see that it's definitely not a dying business yet. While the business model is not the strongest for future, it's still having great progress, some growth. Um, on the e-commerce space and obviously their regular store sales are down. So this map shows uh, where's Party City is mainly located at. Um, as you can see it's mostly in the US. It has a lot of expansion opportunities if it gets to that point. I mean I doubt it will but um, if it somehow blows up keeps doing great and has opportunity in front of it if it can expand into other spaces where there's demand um, and yeah, I feel like stocks like this are going to bounce back really hard. Could be up to 150 by the end of the year. It could also be halved just because of rumors about bankruptcy and stuff like that. But I love the risk to reward, reward ratio for this stock. And I feel like we should make some great gains. I've been reading through a lot of tweets. And a lot of them are uh, fellow bulls like this one called Crop Trades. Um... There's a lot of insider buying. Um, it has earnings and 
I believe, 10 days. So there's an opportunity there um, to run up into earnings. I usually like to sell and secure my profits before earnings just in case uh, extra volatility happens. But this is just something to keep in mind. Um, it really could be running up hard. Another 30% gain next week is not out of the question. And I have faith in this stock pick and in this company of keeping it through and impressing people with results that aren't great but still a lot better than expected and that's my bullish thesis all right thank you guys for coming and watching uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll have another trade board out next week going through my thoughts more in depth the video will probably be better quality because i'm just now experiencing what it is like to make a youtube video and i feel like i can do much better in the future um when i figure things out but this is just a quick recap of what a move that i made this week I hope you bought them with me when I uh, recommend it on Instagram because we're already up 30% on the position. Um, yeah, I could easily see myself doubling the 20 in the stock. So, yeah, um, we're on the way. One week at a time, one day at a time. For those wondering, this is a one to three month bounce back swing trade. I plan to sell out um, either before earnings or uh, like a month or so after earnings, depending on. Where the price goes but we should easily easily double our money in this and good luck guys you ready for these gains